Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite electrician, Doug, here. It's Monday morning, um, waiting for a response from a client in regards to some fixtures we're gonna install, and I figured I would take the opportunity uh, to make a little review video. I picked up a couple pliers from a company called Fujiya. It's a Japanese tool company, and I'm pretty fascinated by how people across the world uh, do electrical work. I think it's kind of fascinating to imagine people in, J in Japan going into somebody's house today and doing the same thing we do here. So I also am really curious about what kind of tools they use. So I picked up this pair after seeing them online. Uh, the thing that really stood out to me at first that I really liked uh, was that they are this sleek black color. I thought that was kind of cool, but there is a downside to it. Um, if you're like me, you got the fumbly hands sometimes and you drop your tools. Now, if you're working in a bed of mulch or in a dark room, these puppies are going to be hard to locate if you drop them. Uh, I would imagine that's why they come with these handy little uh, brass style clip on uh, pocket latches that I haven't used yet. Haven't gotten the uh, wallet chain um, that most of the kids have these days to match my Jinko jeans. Um, but that's one downside to them. I do like that uh, with the lineman's pliers, the head is a little more narrow than the Klein's. Um, I love Klein pliers. I've used them my entire career, but I do find the head to be a touch bulky and them to be a bit heavy. This kind of solves that problem because they're pretty lightweight, slim line. They've got a little crimp tool on the side, just like a nice pair of clines, and they've got a really sharp um, edge for, for cutting. They're really good for cutting. Um, the one downside I found to these pliers, uh, you don't see it as much with the linemen, but man, these uh, these angle head dikes, the thing about them that bothers me is that the um, the protective handle twists and moves and it really started doing it uh, once I started you know sweating real hard with these things in my pocket. I realized, man, this thing comes on and, and you know comes off and goes on way too easily in my opinion. so I think I'm gonna have to hit it with some sort of um, adhesive on the inside. You know, not the end of the world, but, I don't know that that should be something I should have to worry about, in my opinion. So, um, anyway, long story short, I like them. I've been using them uh, for a few months now, and they're they're good tools. They're good pliers. They're uh, they're reliable. They work really well. Uh, it's just specifically on the dikes that handle is loose, and I don't like that. So that's it, man. Um, little review for Fujia. Um, if you're looking to pick up something cool from another country to kind of see how the people over there do what they do. These are a good pair of pliers to pick up. Um, that's it, man. That's just a little tutorial. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you soon.